Mr. Chu here, holding Trey, who doesn't want to be held right now. This is Trey Arithmetic, and it's named after my four-year-old black kitty cat named Trey. My name is Mr. Chu. This is Trey Arithmetic. We're going to talk about the perimeter of rectangles. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube at Mr. Keith E. Chu. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. So let's look at example one, finding the perimeter of a rectangle. So how do you find the perimeter of a rectangle? What does perimeter mean? Perimeter means the distance all the way around. So if I were able to measure this distance and add it to here and here and here, that would be the perimeter as if you're building a fence. All right, so we could take and say that perimeter is the length plus the width. We've got our length here, we've got our width here, we've got a length here, and we've got a width here. But we have like terms here of L and like terms of W, and this is our shortcut formula, and that's the formula I want to use. All right, so if this length is 10 feet, what's this length? 10 feet. And if this width is 5 feet, then this length is, this width here is 5 feet as well. You can write them in if you want, or we can just say, let's just substitute where the L is, let's put a 10 feet. So in the parentheses, I put 10 feet. That's what L equals. So I just put parentheses in there and write 10 feet inside. And then where the W is, I put parentheses there and I put five feet. Now we use what's called the order of operations. You multiply before you add. Two times 10 feet is 20 feet. Two times five feet is 10 feet. And then we combine like terms, which is the 20 feet plus the 10 feet, which is 30 feet. And that is the distance around that rectangle. Do perimeter problems get harder? Yes, sometimes they do. So let's do example two now. So in example two, we're given the perimeter and we have to find either the length or the width. So in example two, we have a rectangle and we're told the perimeter of that rectangle is 44 meters. We're told that this length is 14. And we're asked, what is this width? So we use the same formula that we used a minute ago. Perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width. And now this becomes what's called a literal equation when you get into algebra. So I substitute the 44 meters in for the P for the perimeter. For the L, I substitute, and that's 14 meters there. 14 meters here, plus, I don't know what the W is, so I just write plus two W. Now I have to simplify this by multiplying two times the 14 here, which is 28, and we're going to solve for W. We're going to isolate W by itself. So anytime that you have an equation like this, it's called a two-step equation, I have to move the plus 28 from the right to the left by doing the inverse or opposite. So I subtract a 28M from the right and a 28M from the left. When I'm teaching this to my 
pre-algebra students, I always used to tell them, you're crossing this out. It's gone. It's a zero. And zero plus 2w is 2w. And 44 meters minus 28 meters is 16 meters. It's a two-step equation. There's my first step. My second step is I need to find out what w is. So I do the inverse of 2 times w, which is dividing by 2. And I have to do that to both sides. And this crosses out here when I'm talking about the steps. I'm going to have w equals 8 meters. So I know that this width is 8 meters. And now I've solved a little bit harder perimeter problem using the perimeter formula and then solving a two-step equation. Make sure that you subscribe to me, YouTube, at Mr. Keithy Chu, and there will be a subscribe link down here in the edge of the screen. And if you want to see the area of rectangles, there will be a link up here. Down here will be a link of all of my tray arithmetic videos up to this point. I am Mr. Chu. This is Tray Arithmetic, and I'll see you next time.